Hello everybody, I'm Tobin, Art Director from Metalhead, and I'm going to take you through some of the visual changes in Super Mega Baseball 4. The first thing you'll notice is a completely new take on our characters. We really wanted to start from the ground up, so that we could harness the customization system to represent our league of real-world players, lovingly crafted in our style, with a better distribution of different face shapes, features, and body types. We've got 44 completely new heads, with stylish all-new hair models, some fun dyed hair colors, and two additional body types. I could click that randomized button all day. The necks are seamless now, and we really honed in on the details of the faces of the characters. You'll see much more expressive reactions to what's happening in the game. Speaking of which, take a look at our new player animations. You're going to get some of the most angry, most conceited, most fun-loving, and yet the most disrespectful bunch of baseball players you've ever seen in a Super Mega Baseball game. Or maybe anywhere. Essentially, all of our cutscenes have been refreshed. Batter walk-ups, bean balls, comebackers, strikeouts, and an all-new season win cinematic. In most cases, we've also added numerous new variations, too. Our team photo has got so much more character. But in general, the lack of sportsmanship in this game is second to none. The sass resonates. We've added more stadiums this time around than we've ever done before. Six new stadiums for you to knock it out of the park in. We've got a tropical cityscape in the mountains, a breezy diamond by some city gardens, and an overlook into a world of thrill rides and popcorn. Take to the field where everything is bigger, watch the harvest in the heartland, and marvel at the architecture funded by independent local businesses that claim to be reputable. What does a list of 20 stadiums mean to the game? It means that each team in the Super Mega League now gets their own home stadium, something else we've always wanted to do and something you've requested. All the stadiums you might be familiar with have fresh time and weather conditions, and the lighting on our characters more accurately matches with the lighting in the stadiums. Oh, and we've added a preview of stadium fill dimensions before you pick a stadium. You've asked for that too. Now let's take a look at our UI. Every time you boot up the game, you'll see a mix of players you care about hyping you up to get into a game. Looking through our menus, you'll see we've done a massive overhaul. We've spent a very long time trying to balance two main things. The vast amount of information it takes to make critical decisions on running a team, and the readability of our UI. We've heard your feedback on this, so we've endeavored to make every layout as concise as possible, and every word as readable as possible, even on small screens. It's all wrapped up in simple design, punctuated with bursts of color. So, as you can see, we've been busy making the biggest presentation upgrade we've ever given to any game in the series. If you love our stadiums, check out the Ballpark Edition. And in general, I just hope you enjoy exploring all of our new content. Thanks.